Himenawa are believed to act as a ward against evil spirits and are often set up at a groundbreaking ceremony before construction begins on a new building. They are often found in Shinto shrines, Torah gates, and sacred landmarks. Shiminawa is made by twisting dry, dry straws together. Shiminawa varies in size. Izumo Taisha is said to have the biggest Shiminawa in Japan, being 13.5 meters in length, a weight of 4.5 tons, and a maximum of 8 meters in diameter. Nako Kumagai has a background in journalism, publicity, screenwriting, and filmmaking. She's been awarded the Canadian Film Century's Screenwriting Prize, has been published in Rice Paper and Event Magazine and One Room Magazine's Nonfiction Contest in 2014. This is a star I was told. It was August 1973. My brother Jiro was four, sitting at dinner. Ita dakimas, my uncle said. Jiro picked up onigiri, a rice bowl with his hands and mush it into his mouth. Fish and rice on his plate, untouched. He stuffed another onigiri in his mouth. Bits of rice falling. Jiro-chan, a warning from my mother. Jiro opened his mouth wide, splayed his tongue covered in tiny white breads of rice. Kazuya stood up and roughly pulled Jiro out of his chair. What are you doing? My mother asked. Getting up, Kazuya went out the back door, carrying Jiro firmly under his arm. With the other hand, he picked up a circle of rope, hanging on the fence by the shed. In the yard was a large oak tree with heavy, twisted branches. He wrapped the rope around my brother once, then pushed him to the trunk of the oak. Winding the rope around and around, he must eat his dinner properly. My uncle's tight and thick knot at the end. He needs to learn to be a man. My mother was shouting at my uncle. Jiro was screaming, the sound flooding the sky. Kazuya went back into the house, relaxed and entitled, as if he had just finished a long day's work. No one remembers the rest. My mother never forgave my uncle. My father wasn't there. Jiro can't recall any of it. He jokes that that incident is possibly the reason he always intuitively eats everything on his plate.